Hello friends, the topic of integral calculus and in this video we are going to start the reduction formulas. Here further we will learn about the double integration, triple integration, area, volumes and so many more things about integrations. But first of all we need to find out some formula that is specifically useful in the complete integration part. So that's why I am going to start your integral calculus from reduction formulas. And in the next video, you will learn that how these reduction formulas are so much useful in the double and triple integration. So first of all, let's start with today's video related to reduction formulas. Well, reduction formulas are basically related to sine theta as well as cos theta. These are both trigonometric functions. And if you have like I'm going to start from the first part. If you have integration from 0 to pi by 2 and you have one trigonometric function that is sine and having power n. So theta and d theta. If you want to calculate this integration, so it is hard to calculate because we can easily find out the integration of sine x as well as cos x, sine square x, cos square x. But if we got a higher power like sine power 5, sine power 6, sine power 11, so it is hard to calculate. So that's why the reduction formulas are such important. So what will the result of this complete integration part? It will be, you can write out n minus 1 and by n. So now you just give a gap of 2 as well as the above part as well as the below part. So here you can write out n minus 3 and it will become n minus 2. And the next term will becomes n minus 5 and this term will becomes n minus 4. And as so on you can write out. And the last term will becomes what? So if you have the value of n that is even number, so the last term will becomes 1 by 2. And if you 1 by 2, so you can write out here the last will be pi by 2. It is only if your n is even. Okay, if n is even. So you can write out if n is even. So if your n is even number, so you can write out at the last term will becomes 1 by 2 and pi by 2. But when your n is an odd number, then what will becomes? If n is odd number. So if your n is odd number, so in that case, your this reduction formula is a little bit change. Like so in that case, you can write out the value of this formula, this reduction formula, it will start from n minus 1 and n and then n minus 3 and then n minus 2 as well as it will become n minus 5 and n minus 4 and it will be continue. But if your n is odd number, so the last term will not become 1 by 2, the last term will become 2 by 3. Okay, you have to remember. So the both result are same for sine as well as cos. So if you have a value of this trigonometric function that in the form of cos, so again you can write out these terms. So for example, if you want to calculate the value of 0 to pi by 2 and sine having 5 theta and d theta. So now listen. So first of all, you need to look after that this value the having sine power is odd number or even number so this is odd number so you can use this formula so first of all you have to subtract one from this power like five minus one, n minus one so you can write a five minus one it will become four okay and the five will be there now just subtract two from the this number it will become two and the two from this number it will become two so automatically it will end at two by three get your point now so automatically it's a 2 by 3 so you need not to write out any other things so this is your result so you can write out 4 to the 8 and 5 3 is a 15 so this is your 8 by 15 is your required result of this complete integration so how is it easy and for one more example if i'm talking about if you have the integration of 0 to pi by 2 and here you have given a cos and cos having power 12 theta and d theta so in that case what you can write out so first of all, you have to look after that this number is a even number. So you can start from minus 1, so it will become 11, so 11 by 12. And now just subtract 2 from this 11, it will become 9, and 2 from this, it will become 10. So continue through this process, and here you can 7, 
and 8 and 5 and 6 and 3 and my dear friends it will become 4 and again subtract it will becomes 1 and 2 now see the last term is 1 by 2 so you can remember if the last term is 1 by 2 so you have to write the pi by 2 also because this is the rule of this formula so you can write out pi by 2 so now you can calculate this complete above data and you can get the right answer from here so this is your part okay so the reduction formula first of all it we have power n and we know the two terms if the n is even and if the n is odd if n is even so even last term will becomes 1 by 2 and pi by 2 and if n is odd the last term will becomes 2 by 3 that's all but the one more thing we have and that is if we have the multiplication of two trigonometric function such as like the third rule is what in the third part we will see if you have the integration and having power 0 to pi by 2 and sine having power m and x and cos having power n and x and dx now one is sine and one is cos both are in multiplication and both having a different power that one is an m and one is n so what could be possible in that case so my dear friends first of all the m and n both could be same as well as both could be different clear so see the result the first result for n is even number if n is even you know one will be even one will be odd or both will be even both will be odd so i will explain so if n is an even number my dear okay in that case you're going to write out your this result will becomes m minus 1 again you will just give the difference of 2 m minus 3 and this process will be continuous and if n is even so it means m will be odd so this will be end at up to 1 clear and here you can write out the value of n that will be n minus 1 n minus 3 as well as n minus 5 5 and as so on the last term will becomes 3 and last term will becomes 1 as well as we can write out the value of denominator and that will be m plus n the first term the second will be m plus n minus 2 and the other term will be m plus n minus 4 and as so on you can just go to continue part and the last term will becomes 4 and 2 now again you can see the last will becomes 1 by 2 so if you 1 by 2 will be there so you can write out last term will become pi by 2 okay just it's a the way to remember nothing else and if your n is odd number if n is odd number in that case what you can write out if n is odd my dear friends so you can write out you can start from m minus 1 as well and m minus 3 and as so on here you can write out 1 and if your n is odd so you can write out n minus 1 n minus 3 so your this term will be end at not at 1 this will be end at 2 because n is odd number so if n is a odd number so m plus n m plus n minus 2 this, both result are same you just have to note it down the term at the end if the 2 will be there so this term will end at what this term will add at 3 and last term will becomes 1 okay like 2 by 3 will at an end the same as we have done in the last time so the last term will becomes 2 by 3 and here the last term will becomes 1 by 2 that's why i write it pi by 2 and there is no need to write out pi by 2 okay so the two case we understand here the one is n is even and one is n is odd and the implementation of this term is so easy so here i've just give you one example let's see now let's see for example you have to calculate the value of this term like 0 to pi by 2 and sine raised to power 5 theta and cos having 4 theta d theta there is no need to remember the complete formula here i'll just give you a simple power trick my dear friends see 
what you have to do just always you have to write out the term like uh, the 5 is there so just subtract 1 from here so 5 minus 1 it will become 4 and now you just go to the subtraction of 2 2 2 as well as so 4 is there and the next term will becomes minus 2 so it will 2 okay so here you can end so now you're going to start from 4 so 4 minus 1 it will becomes 3 and minus 2 it will becomes 1 you just need to subtract 2 okay and below part first of all add both of terms like 5 and 4 it will become 9 and now just to subtract 2 9 minus 2 7 7 minus 2 5 5 minus 2 3 and 3 minus 2 1 and here you can note it down last term is 1 by 2 so you need to write out pi by 2 here so you will calculate the complete value and the result will becomes 8 by 3 1 5 clear how is it easy and similarly if you can take any other example like 0 to pi by 2 and if, if you want to write out both terms are even so in that case like 6 sine raised to power 6 theta and cos raised to power 8 theta and d theta what it will become c 6 minus 1 5 and now just subtract 2 it will become 3 and subtract 2 1 8 8 minus 1 7 7 minus 2 5 5 minus 2 3 and then 1 am i right here okay and now 6 and 8 will become 14 40 minus 2 12 and 10 and then 8 then 6 then 4 then 2 so 1 by 2 again there so you can write out pi by 2 and you can write out the complete answer will become 5 pi and divide by sorry here 5 pi and uh, by 4096 clear okay one more example we can take like if you have sine raised to power like 0 to pi by 2 and sine having power 5 and cos having power 6 theta and d theta so 5 minus 1 that will be 4 4 then 2 and it will be finished 6 6 minus 1 that 5 5 and 3 and then 1 and divide by 5 and 6 will become 11 11 minus 2 it will become 9 and then 7 then 5 then 3 and it will becomes 1 am i right here 5 and 6 it 11 9 7 5 3 yes the 2 by 3 will becomes now the one more thing i will just explain that if you are thinking that what is m and what is n so don't go about that somewhere like i just solve this term for this 5 if this is my m so i solve this for this thing and if this is your n so you solve for this part and this the denominator part is common for both of them if you are thinking like it will becomes one by one no it is not one by one so you can think about this thing like it will becomes two by three not one by one it's with two by three so the result will becomes eight by six nine three because the last term will becomes either one by two or the either two by three okay so this was the reduction formula i hope so that you understand the concept of reduction formulas and one more example i will give you the last example of today's lecture if you're going to calculate the 0 to pi by 2 and i hope so that you will try to solve out this result with me and sine raised to power 6 theta d theta only so 6 minus 1 that 5 and 5 by 6 so just reduce 2 it will become 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 if 1 by 2 it means pi by 2 we have to write out and the complete real result will become 5 pi by 32 this was your required result so all the results i hope so that you learn so many things about the reduction formula so all the results of sine raised to power 6 sine raised to power 5 sine raised to power n and sine and cos in the multiplication and having power just you have to remember that a limit must be from 0 to pi by 2 otherwise we were not able to use the reduction formula clear so all the formulas you will learn and we will apply the all the formulas in the double integration as well as the triple integration so guys thank you so much for watching this bye bye